Glenn Cronier married Lily Comley in 1968. They had four children, one of which being my mother. This story is about where the Cronias and the Comleys come from and why their marriage is a symbol in South African history. The English Comleys arrived on South African soil as settlers in 1820. Due to the Napoleonic Wars, Britain were facing a serious unemployment problem. As part of their solution, British citizens were encouraged to immigrate to the South African colony. Most of the settlers went to the Eastern Cape, but a small group pressed into Natal. The British settlers had to then request permission to stay in Natal, or Zululand, from King Shaka. Because King Shaka was so impressed by the technological advances of the British, he gave the settlers land in exchange for firearms. Not long after this, Britain and the Boer would begin their 20-year conflict spanning two wars. The Cronier name appears in this part of history as Pete Cronier. Pete was a general of the South African Republic's military forces during 1880 to 1902. At this time, Pete was a celebrated general. Being a great military strategist, Pete played an important role in both wars up until 1900 when Cronier and his commandos surrendered at the Battle of Paardeberg. The war was especially harsh on the Boer. The most brutal example was Lord Kitchener's scorched earth policy, which burnt down farms and subjected women and children to concentration camps. This began soon after Cronier's surrender, which caused resentment from other Boer generals, as well as the press. According to some archives, it is said that because the British had then caused Pete so much embarrassment, as well as other reasons, he then left South Africa and began taking part in battle reenactments in America, going so far as joining a show on Coney Island. The animosity between the cultures took decades to unravel, and a century later it has culminated to people like me, croniers who can't speak Afrikaans. Imagine what Pete would say. Swak.